welcome to my channel. As you look behind us, some beautiful dream catcher, and we're just gonna learn how to make it. So, without any further ado, let's get started. We need a metal ring, some feathers, a wooden brush, or a pencil, or a chopstick, whatsoever you are comfortable with, a scissor. A woolen thread, of course, and some glue. So let's begin. As you can see, I'm wrapping the thread around the wooden brush, and this would be helpful later on. Now I'm tying a knot around the metal ring to secure it, and then we are just going to wrap the thread around the metal ring. We need to wrap it in such a manner that no part of the metal ring is visible and only the entire ring is covered with this woolen thread. Now we are just gonna secure it with some knots and we are gonna grab a nail paint, a clear nail paint and secure it more. Make sure you let it dry for 5 to 7 minutes and only then begin intricating the web. As you can see, I am moving the brush below the metal ring and tying a knot to secure it in this way. I am doing it's similarly while taking equal distance in comparison to first one and securing it again with a knot. So here we just need to move half away because we are making a moon shaped dream catcher design. And then I'm starting on with a second layer. As you can see in the second layer I'm just passing the brush beneath as I show in the first layer and just securing it with a knot. Let me zoom in so you can see completely. So we are just gonna pass the brush beneath the thread of the first layer and then we are gonna tightly secure it in the middle. So a design like this is formed and we are just going to follow the entire thing with the same pattern until a moon shaped pattern or a design is formed. So here I have used a wooden brush but it is slightly difficult to pass the brush from a narrower area. So I am just going to show you how it is done with a needle. Of course both has its advantages and disadvantages and you must use a method that is easier for you and you are most comfortable with. Now I am showing the same with a needle. Here as you can see the thread in the needle is too long and you might need to handle it without causing any complexity. I am doing the same pattern but I am doing it with a needle. Of course, when I do it with a needle, it could pass through various areas where a wooden brush or a chopstick wouldn't pass. But you need to take care of this long thread. Otherwise, we are following the same pattern as we followed in the wooden brush. Let us follow the pattern and complete it till a crescent shaped pattern is formed and that is it guys we now need some feathers you can take howsoever you want I am taking 5 to 6 feathers here and now I am taking a thread to tie those feathers this is the longest thread and it will stay in the middle then I would tie two threads on the right and two threads on the left making it five threads. Now we're just gonna tie feathers but before that we're just gonna cut it 
in a V shape because I want that shape. You can cut it or design it in whatsoever you want. So here, I'm trying a loose knot. Make sure the knot is loose. Now we're just gonna slide the feather from that knot and then tightly secure it in this manner. Let me show it to you again. We're just gonna tie a loose knot. Make sure the knot is loose, guys. Now, as it is the middle strand, you can use two to three feathers, but I'm just using one. It is completely as per your wish. We're now going to slide the feather between that loose knot and we're going to tightly secure it. With the remaining thread, I'm just going to wrap it around the knot to make it look more completed. Now I'm just going to stick it with some white glue. Ta-da! We are done. Now let us move with some decorations. Here I'm using maroon colored diamond to create a good contrast. We're just going to stick it with that white glue on the knots we created earlier. So this is it. Our beautiful crescent moon dream catcher is done. watching my video guys please give it a huge thumbs up if you like this video share it with your friends and family and make sure you subscribe to my channel until bye bye